Good evening, everyone. Hello, Glenda. How are you, Glenda? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. Thank you, teacher. And you? Fine. Everything good so far. Here, almost starting. Okay, something you remember about yesterday? Algo que recuerde de ayer? Cualquier cosa? Um, estuvimos repasando el, el auxiliar DIP. Uh -huh. ah, las, yes. pregu las preguntas um, open question, close uh -huh. question. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Open question, close questions. Yes. Okay. Can you give me an example with this? Un ejemplo con an example with this. Todo lo que me cambio de. Con this. Yes. Please. Well, del libro puede ser del manual. From the manual or a personal question. Right? Yeah. For example, for, for example, did you exercise yesterday? Ah, yes, excellent, right? Como es, it, because it's uh, an open question, so you can say, yes, I did. No, I didn't, right? For the, for, for closed questions, sorry. For closed questions, you can say, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Excellent, very good. Okay, now, written, I'm going to turn off the camera, and I'm going to read the generalities. Okay, all the generalities. Then I'm going to present the, the, the PowerPoint presentation. What is your PowerPoint presentation? Yeah, I don't see it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Hey, quizás no la, no. Give me a second. Okay, so today we're going to continue with prepositions, the final round. Give me a second. I'm going to... Hello, Maria Elizabeth. How are you today? Hello, hello. Oh, hi. Yes. Okay. What do you remember about yesterday, Maria Jose? Something you remember? Algo que se recuerda de la clase de ayer, Maria Jose? Hello? Hello, hello, Jose, Maria Jose. Are you, can you hear me? Hello, Noemi. How are you? How's everything right now? Como, como esta? Hello, hello. Okay. Good night, teacher. Hello, casi no le escucho. <laughs> How are you? What do you remember about yesterday? I no. remember. Mm -hmm. I remember. Uh, what did you do uh -huh. last night? Grammar yes. focus. Mm -hmm. um, uh, pass. Simple pass. Uh huh. Simple pass. Uh huh. Okay. okay. Very good. Okay, it's okay. Excellent. Very good. Okay, only just help and I'm going to change in something in the here. Give me a few seconds. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna show you the PowerPoint presentation from mm -hmm. seven to eight. Here we go. Okay. Now so okay, here we go. Give me a second. Okay, so we have uh, the online English program, session number six. November 7, 2023, right? Now the schedule, Monday, from Monday to Thursday, from seven to eight. The agenda for today, the sixth day, November 7, 2023. We have a greeting, welcome, general instructions, review, warm up, questions, attendance, the snapshot, conversation, grammar, focus, vocabulary, platform exercise, Simple pass review and feedback, right? Closing and five minutes for advices. Okay, here we go. Now the general in a specific objective, asking for and getting information about places, talking about a uh, was where, snapshot, grammar focus, complete some grammar exercise in the platform, and identify activities in familiar scenarios, practice model dialogues for creating personal conversations. What are we doing today? 
Participants will be able to review the last session and ask and answer some personal questions about places. Uh, participants will be able to practice prepositions and create and created conversation based in the model, complete reading exercise and listening. Repeat some vocabulary and expressions, complete some exercise in the platform and feedback them giving information about homework assigned about childhood. Today we are gonna check the homework, right? Solo medio vamos a trabajar con la, with the book, with the manual, and then we are gonna move to the, to what, to the, to the presentations about, about your childhood. Okay, so you have uh, this conversation. So you're going to, yeah, yesterday we were talking about these places. Uh, no sé si se logra ver. Okay, can you see it? Places. Yes. And also we have here these places. Clothing store, drugstore, internet cafe, music store, post office. Now, for example, we can say, what's a drugstore? What's a drugstore? What is a drugstore? A pharmacy. What is a pharmacy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a place where you... Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a place where you mm -hmm. and es que no sé qué se puede comprar porque acá no me lo que estoy leyendo cuál sería uh, the clothing store this this one drugstore este no lo ve ah uh, yes yes drugstore ajá uh ajá -huh. uh -huh. is what's a drugstore so yesterday lo hicimos así what's a uh, drugstore uh, is a place where you, where you... Uh -huh. drugstore. Drugstore. But drugstore is not here, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Teacher, okay. sería, sería, it's a place where you buy medicine, medicine. Uh -huh, medicine, right? It's a place where you can buy uh, medicine. Yes, a drugstore. Now, uh, um, a post office. Post office, como Correos del Salvador. What's a post office? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What can you do in a post office? Maybe it's a play where you... Send mail. Send, uh -huh. send letters, send mails, uh -huh. send letters. Excellent, very good. Okay, now you're going to listen the conversation. Eh, vamos a ver, déjenme poner el audio. Just look up the audio. Healing discargas. Exercise. I think it's this one. Oh, no, it's not that there one. is okay give me a few seconds give me a second i think it's this if i'm not wrong it's this unit eight what's your neighborhood like page 50 exercise two conversation i'm your new neighbor listen and practice okay Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way... Okay, what did you listen? Uh-huh, ¿qué escucho? Algo que haya escuchado? I looking for a... He is new in the neighborhood. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, yes. Uh -huh. He's new in the neighborhood, right? Okay, what else? ¿Qué, ¿La otra persona que iba a decir? 
I'm looking for a cloth. I'm looking for, okay, I'm looking for a clothing store. Clothing a clothing store. store. Shopping center. Huh? Shopping center, yes. Okay, very good. We, we're going to continue. Let's see where. Okay. Hey, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? Okay. So at the end, what did, what did she say? Uh huh. Barber. Barber shop. Barber shop, right? Okay, here we go. Eh, vamos a ver. Uh, so listen, le, listen and read. You're going to listen and read, right? Okay, so so the title is I'm your new neighbor. Neighbor is a new person in the neighborhood, right? <clears throat> Give me a few seconds. Quiero ver qué dice el chat. Uh, okay, Roman, no problem. Okay. No problem, Roman. Uh, so, you're going to listen again, right? Unit 8. What's your neighborhood like? Page 50, Exercise 2, Conversation. I'm your new neighbor. Listen and practice. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? <laughs> Okay, so a uh, question with vocabulary or pronunciation. Do you have any question with vocabulary or pronunciation? Uh -huh. Can I, questions with vocabulary or pronunciation? No, or no questions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Yes, no question? Landromat. Landromat is like a a synonym for dry cleaning. Dry cleaning here in El Salvador is a laundromat. It's a place, a Cinco de Noviembre is a laundromat. It's a place uh, <clears throat> a, a, where you can a, wash your clothes, wash your clothes. Okay, okay. lavandería, algo así. Yes, exactly, yes. Okay. Yes, exactly, okay, laundromat. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. I just moved in. Oh, yes, I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Near, brother. This is near. Near here? Well, I think there is one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? Okay, I need uh, some volunteers to practice the conversation. Uh huh. Me. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. Quem más? Me, teacher. Okay, Glenda and Noemi, creo que me dijeron. Yes. Okay, Glenda yes. and Noemi. Okay, uh, Glenda, you can start. Okay, excuse your new neighbor. Mm -hmm. Okay, excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, mm -hmm. Jack. I'm just. Moving in. Uh, I'm looking for a uh, grocery store. Uh, no, but, uh, no. no uh, esta, esta. Mr. Day. Mr. Yes, Day. Miss, Mrs. Day. Uh -huh. Mrs. Day. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Mm -hmm. Yes, there are some one Pine Street. Pine Street, uh huh. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Mm -hmm. Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Nice. By the way, ah, no, Jaquim. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Termine. Pensé que había terminado. Sorry. By the uh -huh. way, there's a barbershop in the shopping center, too. A barbershop? Ahí está. Okay, yes, a barber shop. Yes, excellent, very good. <laughs> okay, two more volunteers. Two more volunteers. Two more volunteers. Or we can continue with the other activity. Mm -hmm. 
volunteers to read the conversation. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hoy están bien calladitos. <laughs> okay. Sure. Yes, Miguel Ángel. Okay, Miguel Ángel, do you want to participate? ¿Quiere participar? Yes. Okay, Miguel is going to be Jack. Okay, Miguel is Jack. Y no sé si le puede ayudar este... ¿Me? Eh, Roberto. Okay. Stephanie, Stephanie Beatriz Carballo. Este, Stephanie is Mrs. Day, right? So, okay. just Mav, Mavin, Mavin, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, you're ready. Yes, you can start. Uh, excuse me, I'm your new neighbor yet. I just moved in. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm looking for the grocery see store. Are there any around here? Mm -hmm. Yes, there are some of Pine Street. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's a one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's barbecue shop in the shopping center too. A uh, barber shop? Yes, a barber shop, right? Uh, the lady, the Mrs. Day, is telling him that it's a barber shop for the hair, for get a haircut. Por eso le pregunta, una, una, una peluquería le dice. Uh -huh, because she is looking at him and she see that he has a uh, long hair, right? He has long hair. That's why she says there is a barber shop in the shopping center. And he uh, he, he re replies a barber shop, right? A barber shop. <laughs> okay, so uh, do you have any questions so far about this conversation? Or no questions? No. Okay, so right now we're gonna pass to the grammar focus, right? In the grammar focus, you are going to listen again this part of this. Este ya lo visto, ¿verdad? Pero... Okay, so... Page 51, exercise three. Grammar focus. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions. On. Next to. Near. Close to. Across from, opposite, in front of, in back of, behind, between, on the corner of. Okay, so do you have any question with these prepositions? Do you have any question? Uh huh, no questions. Everything is clear? Next to, near, close to, across from, opposite, opposite, right? O a opposite. In front of, in back of, behind, between, on the corner of. Is there a laundromat near here? For the question, you have to use is and are. You have to use is and are uh, for the questions, right? Usamos is and are al principio cuando es pregunta. Is and are when it's a question. Antes de there. Is there a laundromat near here? Is there any grocery stores around here? Okay, and ¿cuándo vamos a utilizar any y cuándo vamos a utilizar some? Se los expliqué ayer. Sí, any in question on negative. In negativa. Uh -huh, negative. Negative. Yes. Some? some in positives. In positive, right? Ambos significan lo mismo, solo que estas preguntas, negación, positive sentences, right? For example, here, uh, <clears throat> there are some nice stores on Pine Street, but there are some on Third Avenue, right? 
uh, for example, here any is a question because it's a question. So you are using any, right? Any. And we have uh, any four questions and for negative. No, there aren't any around here, right? There aren't any around here. Now we are going to look at this map. To this map. And you're gonna tell me, uh, you're going to make something similar to this. Okay, this is in your manual. Let me see if in your manual you have similar, well, yes, it's similar, right? So you have uh, this one that is in your manual. So uh, you have, for example, is there a bank around here? Okay, lo que va a cambiar usted es eh, la palabra bank, ¿verdad? Por otro lugar, is around here. Yes, there are any, uh, okay. Yes, there is. There is a bank here, here, here. Are there any gas stations eh, on Main Street? Puede cambiar también la calle, ¿verdad? On Main Street, okay? So look at this chart, look at this one. Is there a payphone? Another example. Is there a payphone around around here? Yes, there is. There is one across from the gas station. So, uh, so with this map, you are going to ask for these places. Va a preguntar por a bank. Bueno, bank. Yeah. Uh -huh. La pregunta ya está hecha. The answer is missing. A department store, an electronic store, gas station, grocery store, a gym, a hotels, a payphone, post office, restaurant. Right. Por eso va a preguntar. Eh, yo, I'm going to give you some minutes. Le voy a dar algunos, unos par de minutos para que usted, ¿cómo se llama? La lea. Okay. You can write your two questions similar to this ones. Espérenme. De las 7 a las 8. From 7 to 8. ¿Está? So, check. From 7 to 8. Ahí les voy a mandar la imagen. So you're going to, oops, what happened? So I'm gonna send you the picture. Okay, I'm gonna send you the picture to the WhatsApp group. Okay, I está in el WhatsApp. And so you're going to write two questions using this map and using these uh, places, a bank, a department store, okay, an electronic store, right? a uh, uh, gas station, grocery stores, a gym, hotels. Recuerde que los, los que son plurales, los que terminan en ese banco, are there any, ¿verdad? Tienen que hacer la pregunta y la respuesta de dos lugares. Is clear what are you going to do? ¿Está claro lo que se va a hacer? Is clear? O do you have any questions? Eh, vamos a ver, let me see who. Eh, quiero ver a quién le puedo preguntar. Eh, eh, Héctor Enrique, ¿está disponible? No, Héctor. Yes, teacher, dígame. Ok, ¿qué vamos a hacer ahorita? Tan, 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 tan. O, o quiere que se lo repitamos. Uh, sí, por favor. Ok, so right now, so you have a this map. You have this map and you have a these places. You have to write a question or two questions similar to this. Is there a department store around here? Y le va a dar la respuesta, ¿verdad? Usando las preposiciones que vimos en el Grammar Focus. ¿Está claro? Pues sí. Ok. 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 So you're going to ask for two places. Va a preguntar similares a esto por dos lugares. Eh, vamos a ver. Um, a ver. Eh, no me acuerdo quiénes son los que están. Que, the people who are driving or who are coming to home. Eh, el, Elizabeth Pineda Mendoza. Hello, Melissa. Hola. Hello. Is clear what are you uh, what are we gonna do? Está claro. Solo que he había tenido problemas para conectarme. Recién me voy conectando. Okay, no problem, no problem. So you look up the map, look up this map, write questions about the places. Okay. Va a escribir una pregunta o dos preguntas sobre estos lugares que tiene aquí. Mire, sobre estos lugares que tiene aquí. Estos de aquí. Esto es de acá, ¿ok? Usando el mapa, ¿verdad? Va a ser la pregunta y la respuesta. ¿Es clear? ¿Hoy sí? Como el ejemplo que tiene arriba. Yes. Yes. Me dice yes. Here. Yes. Ajá. Tienen dos minutos, dos minutos.
Okay, do you have any questions so far? Tiene alguna pregunta about this? ¿Quién acaba de entrar? Quiero ver. Sorry, I have to stand up because I have uh, something to do. So I have a situation here. So right now you are going to write two questions similar to this, similar to these questions about these places, right? About using these places and using the map. Are you ready or not ready? The map is in the WhatsApp group, right? Okay. So let's check it out. ¿Quién ya está listo? Lista. Who is already? Only with one question is enough, right? Only when, with one question, it will be enough. We. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sí, sure. Hi. Solo íbamos a hacer dos de lo mismo como pregunta, ¿verdad? Sin responder yes. nada. Okay. Uh, sí, si la puede responder también. Mm. Mucho mejor. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes, it's okay. This one it says Maple Avenue, Pine Street, Second Avenue. First Avenue, First Avenue, Second Avenue. Pasar. Eh, ah? Hello? So Main Street, Pine Street, Maple Street. So look up the map. Look up this map. Teacher. Yes? Eh, no sé si estoy buena la pregunta, pero tengo una. Okay, okay, go ahead, please. Yes. Are there any um, um, electronic store? Electronics. Um, fine Street. Uh -huh. Electronics stores. Store. Como so any stores on Pine Street. Yes. Uh -huh. Are there any electronic stores on Pine Street? Because you are talking about the, the street. Vamos a ver. Electronic stores. Vamos a ver. Electronic stores on Pine Street. No lo veo. Electronic store. Ah, electronic is here. Mira. Look at this. Here is the electronics. So, but, but but you say on Pine Street, no, the, no, there isn't, or no, there aren't any electronic store on Pine Street, but, pero, but there is one behind the post office, behind the post office, right? On First Avenue, on First Avenue, behind the post office, atrás del, del the post office, on First Avenue, okay? Excellent, very good. Okay. Uh, no sé si Héctor Enrique Guzmán. ¿Quién habló? Who talks? Yes, I'm here. Ah, ok. Héctor, no sé si tiene alguna eh, pregunta. A question about this? O... Any question. Uh, ok. An example? No yet. Ok. No teacher. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, it's okay. So, uh -huh, another person who has an example. I don't know if Me? Glenda. Okay, Stephanie. Y después Glenda. Okay, is there a public library around here? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, a library at. Yes. The library. The yes. public library is uh -huh. next to gas station. Next to the gas station, excellent, right? On Main Street, very good, excellent. Nice, excellent. Okay, Glenda, no sé si tiene un ejemplo que nos podría okay. compartir. Is there a Joe's gym around here? Uh -huh. Yes. It's between uh -huh. of... Um, Oh, there is department store and uh -huh. post office. Uh -huh, yes, the gym is between the post office and the department store. Excellent, very good, right? Excellent. Uh, uh -huh, Joyce gym, right? There is a Joyce ring around here. Uh, por aquí, around here. Is there a gym around here? Is there a Joyce gym around here? Yes, there is. There is one gym on Main Street. 
between the post office and the all days department store. Excellent, very good, Glenda. Uh, another volunteer to read one example. Alguien más? Uh -huh. Okay, recordemos que usamos are there any, usamos are there any, con Roberto Carlos dice, no sé si, are there any, we use are there any con plurales, ¿verdad? Gas stations, sí, como dice stations, are there any, hay alguna estación de gasolina, ok, en is there, is there, lo usamos cuando solamente es uno, ¿verdad? ¿Cuáles son plurales? La que dice gas stations, Grocery stores, because you have the letter S. Hotels has the letter S. Restaurant has the letter S. The rest is, is there a, is there a bank? Is there a department store? Is there a, a, an electronics store? Is there a gym? Is there a payphone? Is there a post office? For example, if I am here, imagine that I am here behind the Jamison Hotel, I am here. So in I ask you, where is a payphone? Where is, is there a payphone around here? I am here. Okay, ¿cuál sería la indicación? ¿Cómo, cómo me dicen dónde está el payphone que está aquí, mire? Here is the payphone. And I am here. So, where is, uh, is there a payphone around here? Yes or no? Uh -huh. Yes, it's a uh, is uh, on the corner of of First Avenue. Uh -huh. There is a payphone. Uh -huh. I am telephone. There is a payphone on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street, right? In Main Street. Excellent. Very good. Okay. There is a payphone. The answer. There is a payphone on the corner of First Avenue en Main Street. Excellent, very good. Ok, another volunteer, otro voluntario para pasar a la tarea que habíamos dejado de ayer. Ah, another volunteer, please. ¿Algún otro voluntario? ¿Voluntaria? Hello, hello. Hello. Ok, esto lo tienen en WhatsApp. Pero, ok, I want to share the homework about the homework. Is from center is this the last yet the last from center? Okay, the homework is this, right? So the homework, but I need to to write your names. Okay, here we go with the homework. Now the homework is to talk about your childhood. La tarea era hablar sobre su niñez. I'm gonna get a paper. I'm gonna get some paper for uh, writing your names and if you have mistakes, give me a second. Okay, so any volunteer for this homework? Huh? Any of you? Yes. You, remember that you have to say the degree. I'm gonna talk about me as a child, child, right? I was short, I was thin, using the simple pass, right? Okay, a volunteer? Is there yes. any volunteer? Only one? O escojo aquí dedocráticamente. <laughs> Mi teacher. Ah, ok. Noemí, right? Yes. Ok, Noemí. Huh? I'm gonna talk about me as a child. Mm -hmm. I was pervert. I was thin. My hair was very short. 
My favorite mm -hmm. program was Rugrats. My favorite hobby was to roam in the neighbor neighborhood. Okay, okay, that's nice, very good. That's it. That's yes. it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I am picking up the yes, Roberto Carlos. A check. <laughs> okay, so okay, thank you. Uh, yes, the pronunciation is I'm gonna talk about me. Talk talk about me. You can make a link here. I'm gonna talk about me as a child. As a mm -hmm. child. Okay. Uh, another uh, okay, excellent, very good, Noemi. Another person? Oh Noemi, tell me a number from one to ten. Spring to me. Okay, number two is Glenda. <laughs> Okay. Nice. Okay. 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 I'm gonna talk about me as a child. Hmm? I was um playful little girl. Uh -huh. I was um little thing. Uh -huh. I had long hair. Hair. Uh -huh. I like to watch Heidi, uh -huh. and I like to play soccer with my cousin, cousin. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. Only that. Okay, that's it. That's it. Okay, with my cousin, with my cousin, with my cousin. Excellent, Linda. Okay, Thank next you. person. Okay, next person. Another person. Oh, hello. Huh? Is there another person? Yes. Hello. Lucia, why are you so shy today? Are you working or you, are you in your house? Hello, hello, hello. Bueno, aprovechando que este, ahorita todavía no se han animado, eh, les recuerdo de que esta, in this week you have to finish the section number three. The section number three. If you have any question, you can ask me, right? And you have to also finish with the midterm. That it's about the, it's like a review all the units about the main topics of the book of the manual, right? In the first manual, okay? Alguien más? No sé si Miguel Ángel eh, want to pass? Yeah. Mm, okay, yes. Miguel. Okay, Miguel. I was she and was she uh -huh. and was thin and was thin. Uh -huh. My hair was very long. Uh -huh. My hair my hair was short. Oh. My favorite TV program was hair. Uh, my favorite program was Goku. And my favorite hobbies was, was to ride uh, my, my bike. Mm -hmm. uh, is my hobby was reading a bike. Was riding, was riding a bike, was riding a bike, and child, right? Uh -huh. Child, niño yeah. is child. The plural is children. Uh -huh. Childs, no, casi no se usa. Childs, no. Child, children. Right? Okay, excellent, Miguel. Very good. Somebody else? Alguien más? No sé si Manuel Alexander Aviles Chacón. Do you want? Can you? Hello? Manuel Alexander Aviles Chacón, about yesterday, no, about the last week homework, right? About the last week homework. Okay, no? Anybody else? ¿Quién más? No sé si... Me? Okay, Stephanie Beatriz Carvalho. I was a very playful. My hair was short. My favorite uh, TV program was a Dragon Ball. Mm -hmm. And my favorite hobby was uh, playing video games. Okay, excellent, right? Very good. Uh, my favorite TV program was ah Dragon. Solo dra was Dragon Ball C. Uh, was ah la A no es necesaria, ah. verdad? Ajá. Okay. Ajá. A veces hasta yo este muchos tenemos la tendencia de poner aquí una la, la my favorite TV program was ah ese A no va was ah hey Arnold was ah Dragon Ball Sin, solo la es lo único, pero very good, excellent, yeah, Stephanie. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, somebody else, alguien más, somebody else, 
Hello, hello. María Elizabeth de la O, no sé si you, if you can, you, no me acuerdo, son los que, uh, the people who are listening today. Okay. María José Torres is listening, right? Okay, ajá. Uh -huh. Lucia, right now, she is commuting, is going to home, so she, uh, she is not available right now. Uh, somebody else, quiero ver quién más. Se hay un montón. <laughs> Eh, Roberto Carlos Cartagena, ¿no? I don't know if you're available, Roberto. Hello. Eh, yes, teacher. I am here. Ok, no sé si eh, puede leer su ejemplo. Eh, sí, sí, sí. I'm gonna talk about me as a child. I was very fat. I was um, short. My hair was very, very short. Hmm? And my favorite TV program was um, mm -hmm. Bob Esponja. Okay, square, uh, square pants. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. And my favorite hobbies was... Was? Uh -huh. um, play soccer with my friends. Okay. Uh, and play video games. Okay, excellent. Very good. Nice. Okay, excellent, Robert. Somebody else? Alguien más? Eh, no sé si Saúl Alejandro, Alvarado Vidal. Mr. Alvarado Vidal, Saúl Alejandro, I don't need your bail. Oops, siempre está siempre de bar. Ajá. Ok, Mr. Ok, eh, Saúl. I am gonna talk about me as a child. When I was a child, I, I was very quiet. Mm -hmm. And a little chubby, but mm -hmm. very nice. My mm -hmm. favorite hobby was play soccer. Mm -hmm. My favorite show was Dragon Ball Z and mm -hmm. Pokemon. Okay. Oh, that's it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Saul Alejandro. Okay, somebody else? No sé si hay alguien más que quiera pasar. No sé si... Uh, Mario Ernesto, you are uh, listening, just listening today, right? I don't remember if you sent a message to the chat. Okay, Lucia... Ah, Manuel is driving, right? He's driving. Okay, so uh, Ruth, Abigail, no, Ruth, Ruth, no, pasado. Somebody else? Ruth, Abigail, Caballero, no, I don't know if you want to. Okay, Ruth. I'm gonna talk about me a chin. I was a stroller. I oh. was in. My hair was very short. Oh. My favorite tea program was um Bodes Ponja. And oh. my favorite hobby was to play in baseball. Okay, yes. Okay. As a child, right? I'm gonna talk about me as a child. A square bob, square pumps is focus pump, square bob pumps. It's okay. Thank you. Excellent, very good. Uh, somebody else? What about you, teacher? Hola. Me as a child. <laughs> me as a child? Yes, yes. Okay, me as a child. I was introverted. I was shy. I was, I used to be thin. Uh, my hair was very short. Um, I had many favorite TV programs, and I remember the Thundercats, the Silverhawks, and I remember when I was a teenager, I liked the X Files. That they were like uh, uh, mystery stories. And my favorite hobby was I don't know, I don't remember to collect things. I think. <laughs> okay. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, somebody else? No, 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 Jessica Lizette Campos. Campos, Campos. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, I can accept campus. I want to talk about me as a child. I mm -hmm. was happier, I was friendly. My favorite TV program was Rugrats. My favorite hobby was Sing. My mm -hmm. favorite person was my first brother. Okay, excellent. Very good. Jessica Lisa Campos. Somebody else? Karen is driving, right? Huh? Okay, now somebody else or the map pasar mañana. The rest are going to pass tomorrow. Okay, somebody else? Nobody else. Ok, creo que a los que no han pasado, creo que van are driving or are working, right? Ok, so, if you want to pass, you can raise your hand. If not, it's ok, tomorrow. Ya no... viene. Ah, ok. Ok, relax, Lucía, no problem, relax. Okay. 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 ¿Sobre qué vamos a hablar? Uh, uh, you are going to talk about you as a child. De, lo que, no sé si ve la presentación de PowerPoint. I'm going to talk about me as a child. No me ha quedado el chance de verlo. Ah, ok. ¿Quieres hacer algo mañana entonces? Si se puede, mañana. Sí, claro. Yes, of course, Lucia, no problem. Ok, we are going to move to the platform. It's ok. Voy a pasar la asistencia porque no va a ser que se me olvide. Ok, give me a second. I'm going to look for the attendance. Ok, espérame. Give me a second. Because I haven't, I haven't. Even open the file. So give me a second. Okay, I don't know if you have more questions about um there is there are, or do you have any question in the platform? Also in the platform, right? Eh, les estaba diciendo a sus compañeros, Lucía, sí. uh, that for that this week you have to finish the section number three in the midterm exam. ¿verdad? If you have any question about the exercise, you can ask me. Si tienen alguna duda con los ejercicios, pues me preguntan. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. Right now the attendance. Give me a second. Okay. Here we go. Uh, Glenda Lisset Guzman Moran present, right? Yes, I am here. Okay. Griselda uh, Elizabeth Pineda Mendoza. Hello. Hola. Present. Okay. Héctor Enrique Guzman. Present. Por ahí lo vi. Eh, Jessica, yes. Jessica Lisset Campos Campos, yes, sí, habló, ¿verdad? Present, sí. Uh, Judith del Carmen Al Alfaro. Judith del Carmen. I think. Okay. If you have seen a message from your classmates that they are driving or they are uh, going home, so let me know, right? Karen Elizabeth Cruz sent a message, right? Present, teacher. Ah, okay. Lucía del Carmen Mejía. Puede ser. Yes. Okay, Manuel Alexander Avilés, Chacón. Mr. Avilés, Chacón. Hi. Hi. Driving. Present, Driving. present. Okay. María yes. Elizabeth de la O, Maldonado. De la Presente, o. teacher. Okay, present. Uh, María José Torres, I think it's driving, right? Yes. Okay, Mario Ernesto Guevara Monge is present. Okay, Miguel Ángel Clemente Presa. Present teacher. Okay, Noemí Salazar Meléndez. Present teacher. Okay, Roberto Carlos Morales, Cartagena. I am here teacher. Okay, Romel José Marín Ortiz. Romel José. Ah, send a message, right? Ruth Abigail Caballero Martínez, right? She already talked. Okay, Saúl Alejandro Alvarado. Yes, right? Present. And Stephanie Beatriz Carballo. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Excellent. That's nice. Okay, so we are going to move to the man, to the platform. Si no se me va todo el tiempo. In the platform. Yes? Alguien quería decir algo. 
No. Okay, so in the platform, we go. Free intermediate number two is charging the web page. So right now, here we have a what's your name? I write. So we have a, in this one about your uh, using prepositions of places, you, talking about places, and also, uh, and also what? And also um, using the there is, there are, uh, any or some. Any is for negatives and questions, and some is for positives, right? And also we have this. Here we go. Vamos, here we go. Maybe it's the signal, right? Here we go. Okay, so in this one, ah, this exercise. And this one is about a map, right? So look up the map, read the question, and choose the right place according to the direction given. For example, is there a near here? Yes, there is one. It is on the corner of Ellen Street and Maple Avenue. What is uh, on the corner? What is what place is uh, on the corner of L Street and Maple? Este es Maple Avenue. Ah, este es Elm Street. Esa no se mira ahora, ¿verdad? L Street and Maple Avenue on the corner. Is on the corner. Is so, a hotel. Is a, the hotel, the Kim Plaza Hotel. Vamos a ver. Ah, yes, the hotel. Excellent, very good. Is there a uh, around here? Yes, there is one. It's next to the Princess Grocery Store. It's Princess Grocery Store. Huh? The bank. The bank. Excellent, right? It's the bank. Okay. Is there is one on Main Street behind Parker's Drugstore? This is Main Street, right? Main Street is. This the Main Street. Second, first, second. Ah, this is Main Street. Esta calle es la Main Street. Y dice <clears throat> behind Parker's Drugstore. Behind Parker's Drugstore. This is the public library, gas station, post office, Joyce. Behind Parker's Drugstore. No veo la Drugstore. Aquí está. Prince Grocery. No, esto no. Eh, eh, what is the answer for that one? Is it department store? Okay, is the aha uh -huh, is the department store, right? Excellent, very good. Department store, okay. Department store. Number four, uh on Pine Avenue. So on Pine Avenue, no there isn't, but there is one on First Avenue and Main Street. On <laughs> Avenue on Main Street. Seria post gas station. Gas station, okay, gas station. This is no I am Pine Avenue, but there is one first avenue and main street. No, sir. And gas station, this one, right? Okay, next one. Are there hotels, public library, grocery stores, or main street? No, there are grocery stores. Grocery store, okay. Y así las van a responder todas estas, ¿verdad? Okay, do you have any question with this exercise? ¿Tiene preguntas? Questions so far? Questions? No. Okay, no questions. Okay. Okay, so we're going to move to the next exercise. ¿Qué es este, verdad? Now you have to complete with much or many. ¿Cuál es la diferencia de utilizar much or many? Uh -huh. Okay, much or many. Eh, les mandé unas imágenes, no sé si las vieron. Much is, is singular, singular. Uh -huh. And, And many, many is, plural. is plural. Por ejemplo, the noise. The noise is uh, singular or plural? Singular, right? It's uncountable. Okay, so aquí iría, sería much. There is much noise. There is much, much noise. Okay, uh, the restaurants. 
Are countables or uncountables? It's countables. Countables, Contables. right? Entonces, for countables, usamos many. There are many restaurants. Y por los uncountables, usamos much, right? Por los uncountables, okay, much. Okay, so the next one. Much meal. Uh huh. Much meal, right? Uh, okay. This one, the, this one is about crime. Or the crime. Much or many. Okay. Right? So the crime. Is incontable or contable? The crime. Is contable. Is uncountable. Is incontable. Entonces usamos much or many. Much. 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 Much crime. Esa parte. A ver, tenemos a few en a little. Ya me lo voy a comer. A few en a little. What is the difference? ¿Cuál es, se utiliza con contable y cuál con incontable? Little. A little. Um, little is with? Incontable. Uncountable is little. And few? Uh, a incontable. few. Incontable. Okay, excellent. Now for pollution, pollution is countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable. uncountable, right? The pollution is uncountable. So there is a there is a few or there is a little pollution. Uh -huh. Teacher, cuando yes. cuando dijo que usamos a little. El uh, okay, el little <clears throat> en la mañana se lo, se los envié. A little lo usamos con, a little es usado con cantidades positivas y no contables. Cantidades positivas, sino con little. Eh, positivas no contables. Positivas no contables. Ajá. Dice, significa una pequeña cantidad o algo. Ay, ese es a little. A few lo usamos. Eh, una cantidad positiva, pero con eh, lo usamos con contables. Ok. A few, este, a few es con contables sí. y significa una cantidad pequeña o algo, o algo, ¿verdad? O algo. Son. Pero a lo utilizamos. Cosas, digamos, no. Ah, con contables, ajá, yes. Con contables y, o con, con varios. En cambio, okay. al hilo lo usamos con uno o con incontables, oh, perdón, con incontables, without contable. Por ejemplo, pollution, that is uncountable, pues entonces va con eh, el pollution, sería a little o a few, pollution. What is many pollution? Pollution, contaminación, sería a little, ¿verdad? a little va con pollution, a little, que es incontable la contaminación. Shopping centers, podemos contar los shopping centers. Yes. yes. Okay, so it's countable. With countable, it is a few or a little? A few. A few, right? A few with shopping centers. Porque los podemos contar. Okay, uh, there are a few shopping centers, right? There are a few shopping centers. Okay, okay. y así lo van a ir completando en, este, en la parte otra. Usamos y saying any para plurales o incontables. Y are, perdón, y saying any para con, incontables. Ah, para incontables y are in any para contables. Eh, incontables, contables. Contables, contables. Por ejemplo, taxis in this part of town. Taxis are contable or uncountable? Contable. Entonces usamos isn't o aren't. Aren't. Aren't, ¿verdad? There aren't any taxis in this part of town. Aren't. Ok, very good. Y así lo van a contestar la, todas estas. Sí, ya. Ah, sí, es lo que acabamos de hacer. A ver, just give me a second. Y después del 3.9 ya no hay. Much, many. Okay. Aquí hay uno, miren. Ah, este es el que me pidieron que no les, no, 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 ¿qué? 
les aparecía, ¿verdad? About this one. Uh, you have to read this one. Usted va a checar lo que aparezca en la lectura, dice. Usted va a revisar lo que aparezca en la lectura, que son inexpensive stores, big apartments, great markets, eh, nice restaurants, and many different cultures. Esas son las que van a ir chequeadas ahí. Ok. I think it's... Pero ese es el último de aquí, ¿verdad? Y de ahí seguimos con el, el Mirchan. ¿Tenían preguntas con el Mirchan? ¿Alguna duda que tuvieran con el Mirchan? ¿O ya están listos para el examen? Ya estamos listos para el examen. Ya voy por el de verdadero o falso, pero todavía me falta leerlo. <risa> <risa> ok. Solo la he contestado. <risa> ¿Cuál es la de... ¿Cuál es A, B, C, D, o E? ¿Cómo? Uh, uh, what letter is A, B, C, D? Las de readings, esta creo que es. Las is de readings. Is is uh, ¿Es esta? Four? No. Sí. Yes. Ok. Algunas veces eh, yo lo que hago, creo que algunos también la hacen así, por si... Por si qué. Si... Uh, I uh, click in through to all of them. He, uh, so the ones that are in red are false, right? <laughs> okay. No, pero usted sí léalo. A ver si tiene alguna pregunta con él. Eh, vocabulary, right? False. Okay. Ah, este me sale mal porque he marcado la doble. Igual aquí. False. Igual aquí. False. Uh, the first one. False. Como te hablas de primero true, ahora le doy false. Vamos a ver. Yes, right. False. Now, for example, she walks down Telegraph, Telegraph Avenue every day after classes. It's true. This is so, true. Yes. Number two, she meets her friends for coffee in the evening. It's false. Number two is false. Number three, she sometimes dances to live, to live music. It's false. Okay, she enjoys going to San Francisco on the weekend. It's true. She it's doesn't fun. like. Huh? Four is true. Number four is true. It's true. Oh. Yes. La tres es falsa. Number three is false. Number five, she doesn't like in lime skating. It's false. Number six, she goes shopping or walking after lunch on Saturday. It's true. And uh, she plays tennis with friends every Sunday. It's false. She likes to watch football and basketball on TV. It's true. Okay. So if you don't have more questions, so see you tomorrow because the time is is over right now. Okay, ya se acabó el tiempo. Así que si no tiene ninguna consulta, entonces este nos vemos mañana. Está, está bien. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night, Bye. people. Good night. Good Continue night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye. Take care, people. Bye.